Okay, hello everyone. This is Dan Davies from Abelink Smart Living Technologies with another four minute tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the weather widget in the Smart Living Dex desktop. So let's just get started. Hello everyone. This is Dan Davies from Abelink Smart Living Technologies with another four minute tutorial. Today we'll look at the weather widget in the Smart Living desktop. So let's get started. I'll launch my desktop and we come to the login page. All right, when you're using the weather widget, the first thing to do is to set up the city that uh, you're using the computer at so that any user that you wanna have the weather on their desktop will be able to show the weather for the current city that they're in uh, when they're using the program. So down here in the bottom left, I'm gonna type the word setup to get into Smart Living Desktop Settings. So on this page, on the bottom right, you see the weather settings. This is where you enter the city and select the state for wherever you're at. So I'm gonna put in, just for illustration, Petaluma, California, just like that. And now I save that out. So that's the, the city that is saved and set up for all users of the system here. So I'll click on Add Edit User to show you on this page, you'll see there is an option that says show current temp weather conditions icon. Currently, it's not selected. So if we go back to Indiana Jones's desktop here, we see some buttons, we see uh, uh, some categories here, quick action buttons on the left. And over in this right area, this is the area reserved for the weather, but there isn't any displayed now because I don't have that option turned on. So let's go turn it on and see how this looks differently. Again, you go back into the Add Edit uh, section of the program, select the user you want to make a change for, and now I'll click Edit User. So I'm going to turn on the option that says Show Current Temp Weather Conditions icon. Hit Save and close back out. So now let's go to Indy. Uh, it takes five to ten seconds for the weather to be retrieved but then after it is retrieved, it will be displayed there on the right, just like you see right now. So right now it's 66 degrees in Petaluma and sunny. Very nice day. Um, in addition to seeing the current weather, I can also view the forecast for the next three days. The way to do that is I click on this button down here that says show forecast. That will now retrieve the weather for the next three days and show the the daily high and the low temperature for each night, as well as an icon indicating the type of weather that's expected, cloudy, sunny, windy, whatever that might be. And to toggle back to the current day's conditions, I simply click that button again, and now I'm back on the current weather. In addition to viewing the weather this way, I can also have the weather read aloud to me. When I click the green button here, it will read the current weather conditions. The current temperature in Petaluma is 66 degrees, and conditions are clear outside. Winds are calm. All right. I can do the same thing when I go to the forecast. So once the forecast is retrieved, I can click that green button, and you'll hear the forecast. Here is the weather forecast for the next three days. Wednesday. It will be areas of fog. Lows overnight in the low 50s. Wednesday night. That'll continue on there. I'll just stop it there so we don't have to listen to it all. So that's how you turn on the weather and assign it to a city. Uh, I'll go back and change the city so you just see how that operates. Down here in the left, I can type the word setup or I can double click to get into setup real quickly. Uh, you can turn that feature off right here where it says allow double click to enter setup. But now we're back into the weather settings and I'm gonna change it back to Colorado Springs. That's where I am at here. And uh, select Colorado and save that out. And now I'll click on Indy. And now when the weather is retrieved, we'll have the weather for Colorado Springs. Here it comes, 57 degrees and it's dark out already here. So it shows the moon. So that's how you set up a weather widget in the Smart Living Desktop. Thanks for listening. Talk to you next time.